morning everyone good evening and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life this is Desmos, and you are welcome to the channel of truth enlightenment freedom and the channel of breaking empaths free if you are new on this channel i talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse i talk about spirituality and i talk about personal and self-development and if any of that resonates with you i invite you guys to join us give us a like share the video with friends and you may subscribe if you haven't already and for those that have always been with us you are welcome back and i thank you for your love and support so today's video i want to talk about old souls all souls old souls now when we're talking about old souls you guys have heard me saying sometime in my videos those are the individuals who have uh, most certainly reincarnated so a lot of them have got uh, past lives you know they've been here before and those are the individuals sometimes along their path as well they're going to notice that for some reason those individuals they feel like they don't belong here so an old soul usually doesn't feel like uh they don't belong so whatever they are communities families places you know everything any, any place they are they don't usually belong they don't fit in they feel like they're outsiders some some of the old souls actually feel like they're aliens on this universe on this planet so that is because basically those guys have reincarnated you know they've got past lives and for some reason they have reincarnated back into this lifetime to carry out particular things to do particular things for very specific reason and they have been placed uh, in uh, specific families specific circumstances communities to carry out specific missions assigned to them by the by the divine by their ancestors by the universe you guys can call it whichever way you want to call it and I have about 10 signs that you most likely an old soul. So, sign number one. An old soul is a, a person who seeks answers within and not out of them. So, as an old soul, you know that a lot of, th a lot of things happening are happening around you. Uh, they are a complete reflection of what exactly is happening within you. And again, this is on a very subconscious level. So, so for example, you see there may be a lot of chaos going on around you. You may be in a, in a certain place and you're seeing a lot of maybe sometimes people are arguing, some people are fighting, some things are happening, accidents, this and that. A lot of chaos happening around you. And on, on the other hand as well, you may also notice there is also good things happening around you. You know, people may be getting blessed. People, they are winning uh, in the games. People, they are winning uh, matches. People, they are getting married. People, they are finding love. People, they are finding jobs. Everything around you is a complete reflection of what is going on within you. So the, the old souls, instead of pointing fingers and focusing on the outside world around, around them, they just go within and they understand whatever is happening uh, outside of them it is exactly a, comp a complete reflection. So for them, instead of focusing on the outside, they go within and they do the work because they know by doing the work within, that work also gets amplified in the outside environment and they experience exactly the way they feel. Sign number two that you're an old soul is uh, you're an old soul if you are if you notice that you're wiser beyond your age. So you guys may notice that sometimes you have a kid, you know, the kids they may be sometimes young, six years, seven years, maybe ten years. But those kids, the, 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 the knowledge they have, the wisdom they have within them is the wisdom of a very, very old person. You know what I mean? So they may be talking sometimes things about different dimensions. You may see sometimes you may see them sometimes talking about fairies. You may see them sometimes talking about a lot of stuff from uh, the higher the higher rims. You know what I mean? So that is that the, that's because a lot of old souls they know a lot of these things very deep on the subconscious level. A lot of these things they have got past lives, remember, and they have acquired a lot of a lot of uh, knowledge along their journey. And them having reincarnated into this uh, into this uh, lifetime, they have come together. They have come along with that knowledge and with that wisdom. So you will see them talking about things that are not beyond their age, which is even some of the, one of the reasons why you will see a lot of old souls. You will find them teaching. Um, sometimes they are younger. They are teaching older people. So they are like old individuals trapped in a young body. You know what I mean? So you will see a, a, a young kid talking about stuff very very stuff from a very very high dimension and sometimes they are teaching they know a lot of stuff and they are teaching people who are actually way older than them so an old soul is a person who is uh, extremely wiser beyond their age an old soul 
is also a person who is uh, the third one is uh, you spend a lot of time in nature so there's no there's no other place to be and also doesn't believe in uh, getting trapped in some kind of uh, you know a concrete jungle you know what i mean in in a cubicle in a cubicle room or sometime in a, in a in a small building or things like that the old souls they always want to be free so the old souls they always resort to to nature and again all these things are connected to all souls being empaths so because they realize that when they go out in the nature that is the that is the only place whereby they are able to connect with nature in itself and absorb themselves in nature because that is the, the only place they have got to recharge their batteries because again it all comes down to the fact that they so also like i've said they are empaths highly empath uh, highly empathetic and they are usually absorbing a lot of people's energies which actually draws them back to go to nature and recharge their batteries so an old soul is a person who spends a lot of time in nature you they connect a lot with uh, trees birds you know butterflies animals pets all these kind of things anything that lives in nature that's where that's where they feel at home you know so the fourth sign that you're an old soul is uh you're not comfortable with crowds around crowds so you may find as an old soul again it, it still comes back to the fact that they also they're also empaths and because of that they find themselves um extremely uncomfortable when they meet we know so you will not find for example an old soul in places where there's a lot of concerts you know a lot of concerts going on clubbing a lot of noise coming from different directions so yes they will sometimes of course eventually uh interact with many different kind of people but at the, at the end of the day those kind of situations they make them extremely uncomfortable because they lose a lot of their energy because again they are empaths they absorb a lot of these energies around them and they feel they feel very uncomfortable uncomfortable whenever they are with people of different races nationalities tribes and play, uh, you know different characters so they will usually absorb a lot of energies from the people around them so that is why you see them when they're uncomfortable when they are in places where there's crowds a lot of people congregations and concerts you will see them sometime when they're in those places they are sitting somewhere in the corner even sometime in class and also is a person who doesn't want like to sit in the middle of the class because they somehow feel very very uncomfortable it's like they can read all the energies around in the room so you will sometimes notice that the old soul is somewhere in the corner by themselves in the corner of the classroom and that is the only place they know that they're not going to be able to absorb that energy at, a, at a, that energy from other individuals at that level so also also are uncomfortable around crowds so the fifth one is uh, most likely as an old soul you're the black sheep in your family so there was a video that, uh, that uh, i did recently that video was called uh what is going to happen when you're breaking generational curses a lot of you guys have seen that video and i've told you guys that uh, those individuals the curse breakers the chosen ones those individuals they're already they're, they're already old souls and as a black sheep they have been placed in those families for particular purposes particular reasons because they are meant to come in those families and intercept a certain generational curse that has been going on ancestral cycle ancestral pattern or whatever it is things that have been picked up by uh, previous ancestors so that's why i've said in the beginning of this video that all souls normally when they come into the when they reincarnate into this, into this planet they will notice um that they don't belong so even in the family as a black sheep they know they already know that they don't belong in that family so they feel like outsiders in that family while other family members are doing this they are doing that they are going here they are going the other side they are, they are always on the opposite or whatever whatever everybody else is doing they don't really fit in those families that's because the only purpose of their, them in those families they have reincarnated particularly reincarnated in those families just to come in and intercept particular ancestral cycles that are going to be broken and set a lot of people free and the future and the future generations to come so as a black sheep in your family it's also another sign that you be, you are you are an old soul so all souls also the sixth one is that they are loners all souls don't believe in um, spending time in uh, you know with a lot of people friends they don't have a lot of friends so all souls eventually they have a, they are people who are loners they spend a lot of times uh, a lot of time alone you will find sometimes old souls in a, a library they are gathered because remember these guys they're always on the hunt for knowledge and wisdom so you may sometimes find them in the libraries they're reading books about esoteric knowledge knowledge they're reading books about the universe about planets about this about the, the books when you see those guys in the library the, the books they are going to choose to read they are books that actually co are concerned with the uh, you know uh supernatural stuff you know multi-dimensional stuff they're always reading stuff about stars 
about horoscopes, about uh, astronomy, astrology, all these kind of things. Those are the things they seek the knowledge because that is exactly what defines an old soul. They already know all these things and they're just trying to learn each and every single day. So a lot of time is going to cause them a lot of lonely time. They're going to spend a lot of time alone. In the library somewhere, maybe sometimes you'll see them uh, sitting in the park by themselves. Maybe they're reading a book or sometimes they're connecting with the sun. Maybe they're sun gazing. They are, you know, they are grounding. They're doing all these kind of things, spiritual practices. So all souls, they're usually people who are loners. You're usually going to find them alone. So if you're a person who is out there and you always find yourself usually alone by yourself, most likely you guy, man or woman, you're an old soul. So the seventh sign is... Uh, a sign that you are an old soul is uh, people usually people usually seek seek you for help and advice. Now, on a very subliminal and subconscious level, you will see a lot of people gravitate towards you. People will come towards you. They need help. You know, there is something they're dealing with. Sometimes, sometimes even they don't even know why they are, why all of a sudden they are finding you at the most unexpected time and unexpected unexpected place. But for some reason, they are just going to come around. Oh, you know, can you help me with this? I was struggling with that at work. I was doing this with my boyfriend and this and this happened. So you're going to find yourself in on each and every single day helping a lot of people around you. You're going to help so many people. And again, you don't have to be uh, having a very big platform to help people. You can just help people in your community. Maybe sometimes it's your neighbor next door. Sometimes it's the neighbor across the street. Maybe it's your classmate, a workmate. So as an old soul, you're going to find yourself on a, a constant spree whereby you're going to continuously meet a lot of people who need help and advice. You're going to, you cannot avoid that because as an old soul, that is also part of your journey and part of your purpose. So your purpose is also coming here, coming in here to help a lot of individuals with so many kinds of things, especially when it comes to widow, uh, wisdom, knowledge, and things like that. So a lot of people are going to always seek your help and advice. So if, you, if you're a person like that and you've seen a lot of those incidents, you know, all of a sudden you're walking around in the streets, People stop you and they're asking you something about their wives. You know, they're asking God what they should do, which place they should buy, the, the, where should, they should take their pets for treatment and everything like that. Just sometimes even it can be simple, simple things, simple things, basic life things that uh, people are dealing with. They always gravitate towards you and ask you one or two things. So if you're having that kind of scenario whereby you're seeing that, it's most likely you're an old soul. The eighth one, of course, which is the obvious or the obvious one, the most obvious one, you're highly empathetic. Now we all know who, who empaths are. I remember sharing a video before and I told you guys in my video, the signs that you chose one. Also, are also chose ones. So those guys, um, they're highly empathetic. The only reason why, because is those people, they have walked, they have walked this journey before. They have been here already. They have, they have been here, done that. They have, met, they have met so many different kinds of people. And a part, of the, a, a part of the things that they are doing in this lifetime, they are also something connected with what they have, always, uh, they have already done in their past lives. So the old souls have got past lives, and a lot of their journey has been involved with, with empathy. So they have been very empathetic to the people around them. They have always been uh, of service, of help, of guidance, and they have always have these tools that they need with them to help a lot of individuals around them. But again, it always required a certain degree of empathy. And those guys, as, as an old soul, you will find yourself that you're highly, highly empathetic. So if you find yourself that you are extremely empathetic, it is most likely, again, that you are an old soul. The ninth one is um, all souls don't bow down to authority. You know, so all souls, you, you see a lot of those guys, because remember, again, it, it, it still comes down to the fact that these guys have already been here. They have already walked this path before. So you cannot tell them about authority. You know, these, you know, work bosses, those kind of things, boss, that one is your boss. That one is your father, they, you know, they're your mother. So for them, it's because they, they're already old souls. In the first place, these guys, they're already old, old souls. So for them, they know that a lot of these people, their bosses, who are in uh, higher places of authority and things like that, they know that those most likely those guys, they're young souls and fresh souls. So they're somewhere on a subliminal level, subconscious level, they feel somehow they're also superior to those individuals. So whenever they're talking with them, they can just talk with them like, well, it's, it's not in a way... That, it's not in a way they are disrespecting people or things like that, but they also don't fear. So why, why other people are running around? Maybe sometimes the people at work they are seeing a boss, and then all of, all of a sudden all of them they run into hiding and things like that. The old souls they are the only ones who are capable of going ahead and confronting even their bosses, their own bosses about certain things, very serious things, without even fear. So the old souls don't fear authority. And the tenth one, what I can talk about is uh, old souls. As an old soul, you are a deep diver. You know so. 
you have got the details uh, in everything. So it's like, for example, a deep diver is a person who likes to go, uh, you know, <coughs> they, they like to dive deep into the rabbit hole, you know, so they like the deepest meaning in everything around them. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter whatever you tell them. <coughs> it may be something as simple as, uh, you know, maybe something about your marriage. Maybe you may have met them and told them about your marriage. Or you may sometimes meet them and tell them, tell them about a specific subject. So whenever you finish that conversation, those guys are going to go back home. And they're going to sit down in their, in their rooms. And they're, now they're going to start to go within. And they're going to ask themselves the question, okay, you told them this and this. But what about that? What about that? So they're going to now start to go behind the veil. Those individuals, they're always deep divers. And they always go behind whatever it is going on in front of them. So they always dive deep and go down the rabbit hole. You know what I mean? So they look for the deeper meaning in things, each and everything around them. And that is what has, uh, and, and again, it still comes down to the fact that they have already walked this journey before. So they have sometimes even experienced in previous lifetimes, in previous past lives, they have experienced most of those things you're talking about. So whatever it is you're talking about with them, they'll always go back and get the deeper meaning in whichever, whatever it is, the thing that you're trying to talk with them. So they'll always go behind the veil and dig for the deeper meaning in everything around them. So all souls, they're also deep divers. So in this video, guys, I would like you guys to mention, of course, these, are, these, these have been my 10 uh, signs that you're an old soul. There might be some other ones that resonate with you. Something, something that you may have experienced as well along your journey. If that's all the case is, I want you guys to share with, you, uh, with us in the section below. Let us know other signs that you know about that somebody may be an old soul. Other than that, it's been lovely to have you guys on board. I always love and appreciate your support. Much love and blessings, guys. There's a more signing out. Peace, and I'll catch you in my next one.